Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm reacting to the weirder side of YouTube. So up first we have this video. So it is titled, I hate my mom, I am done with this family forever. So before I jump right into this, I just want to, um, I'm, I actually have not seen this video before and I'm not going to jump to assumptions. It is totally possible that maybe his um, family is abusive, so it could be possible that this guy is just a perfectly really nice guy. So, also, I doubt that is the case though, because now looking at the likes, I don't know if this is gonna be that type of video. So, yeah, let's jump right into this. Okay, whoops. Um. <clears throat> BG can be here. And, um, Wilson, too. Okay, cool. But, yeah. Judging by the title, um, hopefully you, uh, already know what this video is about. Yes, I do know what this video is about. My mom is just ruining my life. Heard this a lot. The first bad thing she did was clean my room, uh, while I was... Wait. Are you telling me that you're getting mad at your mom because she cleaned your room? Dude. Personally, I'd be pumped if my mom ever cleaned my room. But because I'm, like, older, I have, like, responsibility. And looking by your age, you seem like a pretty old person. So, like, if your mom's still cleaning your room, I feel like you should be really thankful for that. You probably have a really nice mom, too. I was at my talk group. And, uh, she must have thrown away, like, a thousand dollars worth of, uh, food. If you have a thousand dollars worth of food in your room right now, I will be surprised if you are not living inside of a fridge. Uh, half-eaten food that was left on my desk. Um, not only half-eaten food, but half-drunken drinks. Okay, so you're telling me you're hoarding half-eaten food and half-drinking drinks. So, now you're unhappy because your mom cleaned your room for you. This is sort of like... This is sort of unreasonable. I told her before that I like to eat, like, maybe half of a muffin. Okay, and then maybe when I get hungry for muffin again... A week or two later, I just take a- A week or two later? Are you kidding me? You save a muffin for half of a week? Bite out of the muffin again and leave it there and the cycle repeats, you know? But... She... she doesn't understand. I, do I don't think I understand too. either. Like, I'll drink half a can of soda and then leave it there for a month or two and drink it whenever I- you're telling me that you're gonna leave soda that's half drinking? Wait, is drinking drunken? I don't know. So you're telling me that you're gonna have a half finished soda. You're gonna leave it for a month or two. That is so unhygienic. I feel like it, but but today she threw away the giant stockpile of food that I had saved up for over like. Six months. Six months? And you're now, still gonna all eat I it? Have is the gum on the bottom of my desk. Which she, uh. Luckily didn't discover. Um. Anyway, that was the first straw. Well, she's gonna discover right now. I'm gonna call your mom. Wait, no, I, I probably can't do that. But the, uh. The straw that broke the camel's, uh. Oh, okay, let me guess. You're gonna take that water and leave it for like three months, then drink it again. Let me guess. The straw that broke the horse's back, um, was what she did today. See, earlier I was in the kitchen, and I was playing Magic Carpet. By, uh, it's a game where, uh, I slide across the floor on my donkey beach towel. Cool. It's, uh, it's this towel with an image of a donkey on it. Mm -hmm. My favorite movie, Shrek. Um, 
Yeah. It's kind of my favorite towel, so it's a big deal. Okay, I understand. Anyway, I left it in the kitchen from when I was playing Magic Carpet earlier. And, uh, I was gone doing something. And my mom was in there, uh, about to do her job, make dinner, you know, clean. And I heard her yell, um, some swear words, and she got really angry. So I ran into the kitchen to see what had happened. And when I got there, I discovered that my mom had spilled a giant pot of water all over my favorite towel. Wait, okay, so that had me for a second. But you're saying that she dropped a giant tub of water. We're not talking about juice, spaghetti sauce, soy sauce, oil. We're talking about water. Dude, you can't even see it once it dries. Are you kidding me, bro? And now it's ruined forever. Oh no, I had some water on my favorite towel. You are probably getting more dirt on it by sliding around on the kitchen floor. Oh my gosh. I was so angry I couldn't even say anything. I just ran back to my room, destroying everything in my path. Like, uh, the Incredible Hulk. I don't even feel like fighting her over this. Yeah, you I'm probably shouldn't be fighting her in the first place. I'm tired. I'm tired of it all. Of, uh... I'm thinking of maybe, uh, starting my own family. Um, yeah. Dude, you're like 13. What do you mean you're thinking of starting your own family? Dude. You're not even, like, old enough to get a job, let alone have a family. This is just hilarious. See, I found this bird's nest outside. Uh, and there were a bunch of, uh, little eggs in it. Oh. So I took them. Yeah. And I'm gonna hatch a... I'm gonna hatch them by, uh, putting them all under my pillow. And, uh... Yeah. I guess my new family will be a bunch of... So you're like, who needs a really nice, loving mom who cooks for me and cleans in my room when I can have three chicks? This will be my new family. Hooray. What is this? What is this? Please tell me. For birds, like on the episode... Like on uh, that episode of Regular Show, um, where the ducks, the little uh, duck things, follow them around. So, uh, yeah. Regular Show, only on Cartoon Network. Um, Mondays at 8.30, 7.30 Central. Uh, yeah. You see, I don't think it's as entertaining as... Uh, Okay, so now he's holding his hands like an adult. I swear, he could be like, he's doing business with me now. Everybody loves Raymond, but there's... Dude, your fingers, though, they look so like, I don't know. I mean, I shouldn't make fun of people. It's not nice. But the way his fingers are moving is just so like, I don't know. It's sort of odd. Like, I'm not going to say it's like bad because like, I'm a weird person too. You know, I do things that are irregular but you know this the it's, it's just sort of weird this this guy is is um i think he needs to see dr phil dr phil needs this guy needs dr phil there's a lot of uh bright colors and loud noises so uh yes there is it keeps my attention pretty well uh but it's not like everybody loves raymond <laughs> where it's an engaging story with complex metaphors um, about the nature of existence and the meaning of life. And so okay, hold up. I'm taking notes. So, you're telling me this, this coming from you is pretty grand. So, like, so first, now you're trying to start a new family with a bunch of, like, ducks or birds. And you hate your mom because she cleaned your room for you and she spilled water onto your towel and it's ruined forever. And then now you're questioning my existence, our existence, the meaning of life itself. Wow, what a transformation. This is just grand. This is great. So, 
Because you see, if you watch any, and I mean any, episode of Everybody Loves Raymond, you'll find several clues that will probably reveal a secret once you put them all together. Because you see, uh, I have this notebook here, uh, and uh, I use it to uh, take notes while I'm watching Everybody Loves Raymond. Okay, I've that's, that's interesting. Over maybe anywhere in between 20 to 30 year, I mean, uh, 20 to 30 of these notebooks and uh, little journals. I spend at least six to seven hours every single day watching Everybody Loves Raymond. Okay, so that is exactly why. That's why. That's why when your mom spills water on your towel, you think it's been ruined. I think you should take a break from this, buddy. You know, I mean, like, seriously, dude, just chill. Trying to discover all of the secret messages, metaphors, and stuff. And, um, you see, I'm failing most of my, uh, classes in school. Knew it. I mean, like, maybe if you were paying attention to science class, you wouldn't get so mad that somebody spilled water on your towel. And maybe if you play, paid, like, attention to, like, any class, you'd realize that starting your own family with, like, a family of birds is maybe not the best idea. I don't know. Just just a suggestion. Just just a tiny suggestion. On already failing my special needs class. So, uh, mainly because, uh, I've been doing, uh, this instead of... Okay, so, what I'm going to say, I don't want anybody to take it offensively, and it's really not offensive, so I'm just going to say it, like, directly, so, it's, it's like, dude, I mean, seriously, I think, like, if you're failing all your classes, you should really just, like, stop doing all this, like, screen time and stuff, like, seriously, it's like, it's a piece of life advice to everybody, like, I'm not the smartest guy ever. I'll be honest, I'm not, like, super good at everything. I, I have to work pretty hard to do it. And so, like, it's like, if you're bad at something, you can always get a lot better at it. Like, anybody can be good at anything. You just sort of have to, like, start focusing on it more and doing it more. And you'll definitely get better at it. So, yeah. Just, just, just a word of advice. So, yeah. Maybe you should stop, like, doing all these, like, watching all of this TV. And just, like, start actually, like, I don't know, working hard, applying yourself. Because, like, I mean, if you're contemplating, like, the meaning of life, you can totally, like, do a physics class or something like that. You just sort of need to apply yourself more. I don't know. Uh, Anyways, back to the video. Studying and preparing and organizing, you know. Anyway, though, I'm just done with this family forever. Uh... Stay tuned next week for, uh, all new one of my episodes, you know. Okay. I will definitely stay tuned to see you start your new family with some ducks. And also, I want to see you, like, I don't know, figure out the meaning of life. So, yeah, um, even though we haven't finished this video, there's pretty much nothing left to react to. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like. And also, I guess the one, the moral of this story is, I guess, that, like, I guess it's more of a, like, you should be grateful for your, like, family and stuff. Because, like, I mean, yeah, I guess that's it. Anyways, peace out. See you later.